and it's another embarrassing defeat for Captain Evan Lewis and the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. Yes, you heard me right. Captain Evan Lewis, he is the captain once again. Jaja, I don't know my people, I don't know. Anyways, this game, they were totally outplayed by the Guyana Amazon Warriors. So, we're going to talk about it. We see where uh, it was the local, well, it was the Guyanese that really did most of the work. Uh, Kimo Pa, Shemran Hitmaya, Goody Kishmoti, and Romare Shepard proving to be way too good for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots on the day. So we're going to give you a quick recap of that game. Also going to talk a little bit about the game between Pakistan and India that ended up um, in a no result. But we're still going to walk through how it went leading up to that decision. So just give a listening ear until the end. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you need to make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Is it? All right. So St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, my people, suffered another defeat which handed the Guyana Amazon Warriors a fourth victory on the track. So batting first, the Guyana Amazon Warriors scored 186 for 6 after they got off to what you could call a relatively poor start. You understand, they lost a couple of early wickets, but then um, Shimran Hetmeyer and Kimo Paul came together and they made it... Uh, you know, they, 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 they made a very good recovery for the team. They put on a good partnership, which led um, to the platform, which um, provided a platform for um, the guys to launch at the back end. So, 186 for 6. Uh, Ayub made 21 from 13. Zazi made 7 from 8. Sheho made 13. Azam Khan made 6. And then we had these two guys in the middle. You would remember that a couple games ago i think it was they actually put together a hundred run partnership Kimo Paul and hetmeyer hetmeyer he made 36 from 22 he had one four and three sixes under his belt Kimo Paul made 41 from 31 not out with one four and three sixes so after hetmeyer went uh Kimo Paul found a good partner in pretorius who ended up making 27 from 20 with two fours and a six he actually started off poor arm um, slowly, but he uh, eventually caught up and then ended up getting that 27. Romario Shepard, he was the man that was on a mission. When Pretorius was out there and was finding it difficult, you could see Romario Shepard in the dugout itching, just really itching. And he wasn't pacing because he was seated, but you could see that he was anxiously awaiting um, his moment to go out there when it was time for him to go out there my people he struck the ball ferociously he ended up getting 26 of 7 with 1 4 and 3 massive sixes so very good not there from Romario Shepard and the bowling for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots my people uh, Lane he bowled 2 overs for 17 runs Corbin Bosch bowled 3 overs for 31 runs picked up 1 wicket Oshane Thomas, three overs, 26 runs, one week, uh, three wickets. Dominic Drakes, uh, four overs, 45 runs, one wicket. Um, George, he bowled uh, three overs, 18 runs, one wicket. Howell bowled two overs, no wickets, 18 runs. Yannick Carrier, three overs, 28 runs without a wicket. And for those who are watching the game, you are probably wondering the same thing that I am wondering. Why was uh, Oshane Thomas not allowed to bowl out his four overs at some point even if he wasn't I, I don't know I don't know my people you know um, I was thinking that he could have bowled the last over instead of Drake's but then I look back and I was like you know he bowled a couple of no balls um, so even Lewis was probably thinking that under the pressure situation in the final over he might go you know might, might overstep the line but if you have your 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 premium fast bowler giving you three overs for 26 runs and picking up three wickets you have to back him to bowl the fourth over somewhere in the innings you understand and that is something that um lewis has been criticized for in the past and in the current um in the, in the ongoing cpl is tactics um you know in in terms of uh setting field and in terms of uh, rotating bowlers and getting bowlers on you understand you know he's not seen as an inspirational leader um 
you know, in, in terms of, you know, you, you, you're watching the CPL, you see people, I mean, experience is what makes it happen. You know, you see people, certain other captains, they are able to, you know, pull a man and put on a man and, 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 and something happens, you know, but, um, yeah, it, it, it's really weird how he didn't find a way to get Oshin Thomas ball in his final over there. So it didn't work for him, for, for, for the same kids and Navy's Patriots in the field. With the batting, it, it was even worse. They were bowled out for 88. 88 in 17.1 overs. The two guys who are expected to lead from the front, Evan Lewis, the captain, he made 7 off 9. Andre Fletcher made 11 off 6. He had 1 4 and 1 6 before he was removed. Um, Will Smead looked almost like a fish out of water. He made 2 for 4 and um, 2 off 4. Um, George made 13 of 16, rather for 2. Corbin Bash, he was the top scorer. He made 27 of 27. Yannick Carrier was run out for 13. Bonnie Howell made 2. Dominic Drakes was left not out and 6. Lane made 1. And Oshin Thomas was run out for 1. It was just carnage, my people. Well, not even carnage. It was just um, some good bowling. Some good bowling there. Romar Shepard, 2 overs, 19 runs, 1 wicket. Dorian Pretorius, 3 overs, 17 runs, 3 wickets. Kimo Paul, 1 over, 6 runs, no wicket. Guli Kishimoto, 4 overs, 15 runs, and 2 wickets. Imran Tahir, 3.1 overs, 18 runs, no wicket. Jonah Sinclair, 3 overs, 10 runs, 1 wicket. Ayub getting an opportunity, an inspirational decision by... Um, Captain Imran Tahir to get Ayub in. He bowled the one over, picked up a wicket and gave away two runs. So the Guyana Amazon Warriors marching on to victory. Getting uh, this victory by all of 98 runs. You understand? So shout out to the Guyana Amazon Warriors. You know, their, their fans will be looking for them to go all the way this year. And not only into the semi-final or the final. So tough luck for St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. Management needs to be sorted out. Bully for things going on, players coming, players leaving, man getting captains if you want game, man being losing captains, man getting back cap. One sort of all sort of madness going on. So they need to sort that out, my viewers and subscribers. So um don't mean to sound that harsh for the same kids and navy's patriot supporters, but if you watched the game, you would understand exactly why I'm saying what I'm saying. So that is how it is, my peeps. Um immediately after this game, we will have uh, the ladies going out there to do it to do their thing that will definitely be one to watch and then later on at 8 p.m we will have another game so quickly before i go uh the asian cup is going on we would have seen india getting bowled out for 266 in 48.5 overs but pakistan they were unable to bat because of the weather so Roy sharma 11 and uh, Shubman Gill 10, Virat Kohli uh, 4. Virat Kohli was bowled um, by Shine Shafridi. Roy Sharma was bowled by Shine Shafridi, my viewers. Um, Sharis Ayer, he made 14. Ishan Kishan made 82. Handik Pandya made 87. Shadow Takur 3. Yada 4. Uh, Jasper Boomer 16. And Mohamed Siraj 1. So 266 all out in 48.5 overs bowling for the pakistan players they for the pakistan team shine shafri the bowl 10 overs for uh 35 runs with four wickets nashim shah he bowled uh 8.5 overs three for 36 harris rauf nine overs 58 runs three wickets shadab khan mohammed rizwan mohammed nawaz and um salman all bowled a couple of overs without taking any wickets so that game didn't um, finish my people it had to be called off their abandon one would say so that is how it went my people so that is it for this one gonna leave it right here for now big up